Hi, I'm Michael. I'm Max. And today we're going to teach you guys a brand new game that I've just made up. Um, so the game, Nashi, is called the Square Numbers Game. Square Numbers! I need to be excited. Stop, stop. You, you, you do all that when we're playing. Now you'll notice, Nashi, the board is... A square board! Yeah. So it, the game is all about square numbers. Now what... All right, so we just have to pause because Nash wants to go get a square number. So four's watching us now. Okay, so to play this game, you need uh, two one to ten dice. But if you don't have them, if you're not a classroom teacher, if you're working at home, a deck of cards will work equally as well and just go with the cards one to ten, okay? Now, Nashi, every time, this is how it works. Every time we have a turn, we'll roll two dice and then you get to cross out one of these one of the squares of these numbers. So you, with 10, you'd be crossing out... Um, 8. No, 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 what's the square of 10? I don't understand. What's, what's 10 squared, 10 times 10? 100. Right, or if it's 3, you'd be crossing out 3 times 3. 9. Okay, so our job is to fill in the board with all the square numbers, but we're, we're going from the square of 1 to the square of 10. So like, what's one times one? One. What's two times two? Four. What's ten times ten? One hundred. So the square numbers between one and a hundred. I always like them all. Yep, so you could put sixteen of them on your board, wherever you like. So as you can see, uh, both our boards are slightly different from each other, which will be good, which will make the game work well. Our now, lines are in the same place there. Now the way we play is um, Nash on each turn. So you can be you can colour in in green, and I'll colour in in blue. The winner is not the first person to get three in a row or four in a row. It's a square number game. So what do you think you have to do? I don't know. You have to get a square to win. <laughs> Alright, so it could be it could be a square there, Nash. It could be a square in the middle, it could be a square. You've got to get four numbers around that make a square. Square. Okay? Alright. Oh, now on each have, could you do number one as a square number just plus one make a square number? Yeah, you've got one there. Yeah. Alright, so you so, just cross so, one. No, hold on, no, hold on. So, so this is how it works. On my turn, I roll. So I've got a three and a two. So we can either colour in a nine or a four. Now it's my choice which number we use, but we both use that number. So I am going to colour in nine. Okay. So you have to do nine as well, Nash, and you choose where you want to do it. Um, Just quick colouring. Beautiful, stop, that's enough. All right, and now it's your turn, Nash. Hmm. So six and a five, so what are our two choices, Nash? Six sixes or five five. Oh, so what's six sixes? Thirty six. Or? Thirty-five. So where, which one are you choosing? Because whatever you choose, I have to do the same. So yeah, look at my board as well. Um, I've this? got thirty-six there and I've got twenty-five and twenty-five there. Thirty-six. So okay, you're doing thirty-six and I'm doing thirty-six. That thirty-six is a good for me. Yeah. yeah. Now, just a couple of quick things. So some people would play this game and they would use counters or tokens. I like the idea of colouring in because I think every time you play, it's a good idea to make a new board the second time around. Wow. Think about the strategy. The other thing, as I said, you know, if you don't have these dice, it'll, I'm going to do the next turn with the cards, right, Nash? So with the cards, it'll work equally as well. So I've got a 5 and a 9. So I can do 25 or 81. I'm not doing 81. Look what your 81 is. I'm doing 20. Nash, we're doing 25. Okay. I really wanted 16. I really need four fours. Okay, we'll roll away. But hold on, hold on. Yeah, okay, so what have you got? I hate one one. Um, let's look at your one. So your one's there. All there. And my 64 is there. Now, what are your choices? My one's there. And my 64 is there and there. I'm going to do 64. Yeah, that's the best one. So you're going to do that 64. And I'm going to do this one over here. 
Good thinking, Nash. I like the way you're checking my board as well. So one or four win it for you. One or four. Okay, a hundred or sixteen. Ah, oh, Nashi. Sixteen. Okay. And so in this instance, I'm going to use the gold Nashi to go around. So in this instance, I'm the winner because I've got a, a, a square there. Okay, so that is the world premiere of the square number game. Like, really simple game to play. You just need a deck of cards, something to write with, or some dice. But a really great way to uh, help to remember what those square numbers are. And also, you need to know what a square number is. You do need to know what a square number is. And you love square numbers at the moment. I knew you'd love the game. All right. Um, so, uh, to, before we say goodbye, Nashi, you've got a message, don't you? Thanks, Susan, for this special T-shirt. <laughs> So, yeah, thank you, Susan, from New York. He sent Nashi his lovely package this week. He's very excited to get it. Um, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.